Hello and welcome back to Lost in Random. Let's see what money has for us since we have more. Alright, I'm supposed to change. I'll take a bit more. Mm. Oops. This. Mm. I think we might be as well buying everything we can. Oops. That could go to Wendy. What do we have here? Mm, it's fine, I guess. We'll get rid of those two because they're not really great. First curse is useful. It's very useful. Let's get one of those. And maybe one of we haven't tried that yet. Even more. Oh, come on, especially you. I love these little guys. Come on, get over here. Oops. Four more, give me that, give me that, give me that as well, and crisscross. Okay, it's pulling me in as well. This is what they are like. Robots. I don't know why to play the string of the string. Don't you run. Three. I've hit him already. Okay, what was that? So I can't either dash nor hit them when they are charged. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Come on. Let me get rid of that. Okay, if you use some healing. I don't like them. I really don't like them. So I really need bombs or this. Yeah, I can't forget. 
Honestly, I have no reason to trust you. Really? Salutations, even. Hi. I am the visionary. How do you know my name? Time is never so linear. You told it to me once in a future long past. I have watched you for a very long time, and I knew you would come here, to me. This all seemed a bit unlikely to even. Ooh, maybe, maybe this strange, floaty person was lying. I mean, uh, probably he was. Please, you're not the only one who can see things even can't. <gasps> Who are you talking to, Mr. Visionary? Never mind, even. I should not have addressed him. Time is short, so I will be uncharistically direct. I am one of the sacred card makers. There were five of us once. There are five still now. We used to make every type of card imaginable. Together, we cared for this part of Random, this five tropolis, until the Queen banned all dice, and with them the unleashing of creativity. Now, we are bound to do the Queen's bidding. With your dice, you have the power to defeat the Queen and set things right. The rules that have strangled Random for years must be erased, and true randomness must return. But... But? The future moves, changes. You are a crisis, even, and an opportunity for both sides. I cannot see clearly through the rug weave, but I can tell you this. In order to defeat the Queen, you need a very special card. Find the other card makers, free them, and we will unite to make you a card that will shake the foundations of Sixtopia. We will make for you your dream card. Follow my vision to the second of the card makers, the painter. And take this. It might come in handy. Stop with the eyes. This is, uh, uh, are, are you sure you don't need this? A visionary does not need mere eyes to see more. Now go. I have interfered enough. <sighs> right. Oh. Cool. Please do not make me the visionary this. seemed credible, or even incredible. And yes, maybe he could see things that he shouldn't be able to. And yes, that was alarming. Uh, but Eva knew the difference between novelty and fear. She pushed on towards the painter. <laughs> A new queen rose to power and, knowing what the games had become, took action. In a voice tinged with rage, she decreed that all dice be forever destroyed. Using the power of her dark, six-sided companion, called the One True Dice, she attacked any of her citizens foolish enough to protest. And thus began the No Dice War. I can't go listen to all of them in one go. 
I'll wait for that one. Over there? No, we've been there. Um, over there? I think so, yep. Okay, good. Man, Even in Dicey had set foot in five tropolis. Here, in the magical heart of random, is where the cards used to shape the very face of the world were made. But it had long since decayed into little more than a cold and dreary factory, used for purposes far less enchanting. Well, to me it looks like they still make cards just different ones. I really would rather not move. <sighs> we can't get through there. Oh. Just... All those fights are really not necessary. Really? I guess they didn't move me. Oh. Shorter. Not for the fighting. You guys get anyway, are you glad? Because I am. You think each other really like that? Ah, that was a six. Really, I missed? This game has nothing. Oops, door. Okay, why are you so old? I see, please. Okay, I can go like that. Though it doesn't really do too much damage. But it's not, it won't ever be a common source of damage. So it's kind of fun. Yeah, I guess it would have been better if I... If I did something like so...
careful about putting this. Eight. I like it. If we do, uh, I we are to be careful. And let's get rid of that. I like that. Triple bombs is superb. Mm. Let's see what else can we get. We can get more of them. Card on eight. I really like that one. Yeah, let's get one more bombs. One more of triple bombs. I'm busy. Oh. But the visionary sent me. And I'm the king of freedom. Now leave me alone. I'm busy. Always busy. Uh, the queen took my sister and I'm going to save her. If just causes were all it took to win, we wouldn't be stuck here, kid. No scram. Please, I need your help. Listen well, because I'm only going to say this once. I can't help you. You know why? Because the Queen has already won. That means we lose, King. We lost, and we lose, and we keep losing until she decides she's tired of winning, which is never. Oh, I've seen your coin before. Convinced that you're different. Oh, you're special, and that if you could just reach her, you'll fix it all. Heck, I've even helped. You know what happens? You lose hard, and I'm still trapped here, forced to paint mad inventions for the Queen instead of the magical cards I used to love. All that changes is that you die a little sooner than otherwise, and my heart breaks a little more, and I'm tired of it. So no, I'm not helping you. Now if you please, scram! Come on, Dicey, we'll figure it out ourselves. Dicey? Oh my, where did you find that? This, this changes everything. A moment, love. There, perfection. Whatever you did, that went fast. I painted your dream card, child. Frankly, it was a joy to paint something other than a dreadful robot for once. Oh, there'll be heck to pay once the Queen finds out. But you're going to reach her before that happens, won't you? Hopefully. You bet all oh, your pretty pain packets. I will. Ah, lovely. Your dream card, it's now off to the gluer. He's next in line. The gluer? An old colleague and a card maker. Perhaps the most important of all. Is there anything else you'd like to know, love? Tell me about the card makers. There are five of us. We each have a unique role in card creation. It starts with a visionary, who you've met, whose strange gaze can see things hidden to others. Then it comes to me, who paints the image, imbuing it with its earliest magic upon which everything else is built. The gluer affixes the card to the backing. A critical job. The alchemist gives the card its spark of life and magic. And finally, the rule master lays down what the card can do and how it might be controlled. You know, the dull yet practical stuff. He and I don't talk much. You really just painted my dream card. I did, and it was a joy, love. Thank you. You've reminded me of how it feels to be me. I haven't felt like me for quite a long time. I think I'm going to chase that feeling. If you fail, the Queen will already be coming for my head after all. So I might as well enjoy the time I have left. What will my dream card do? Everything? You know, the visionary would know. But he's not a kiss and tell toy. The rule master, perhaps, could tell you. As for me, I just care about the painting, love. Move me. Join my quest. I'm just a painter, love. I do my best work with a canvas and brush. And you've already gotten my best work in years. But I'll meet you when you need me most. And I'll add a few finishing touches to your dream card. 
I guess I'm out of questions. Then go, love. The gluer awaits. Another fight, probably. The painter had done all she could. And now, even was off to the gluer. Who, and I'm going to go out on a limb here, might be in a sticky situation himself. Oh, there it is. Really low. <laughs> Getting stuck so often, so easily. Even found herself moving ever closer to the darkened heart of five Tropolis. Wherever the gluer was, he was... I just suddenly felt weirdly a alone in a way I can't explain if that makes sense I'm lucky I have you suddenly the little girl's story took a much darker turn who are you? Whoa. I feel like someone just walked over my grave. I've got a bad feeling, Dicey. Okay, so we know that the narrator is in the sixth town. It's in the castle. She made a mistake. She felt like giving up forever. You did it. I don't know what it is, Dicey. I just feel odd, tired all of a sudden. Left to buy. The view was as beautiful as it was hopeless, and it underlined the one universal truth. Even you could never defeat the queen. Right. She'd sooner topple the mountain with her breath than succeed. The card makers had given her a hopeless task, and the fools disappear in efforts, full of sound and fury, would amount to nothing. Of course. Just give up and die right now. Uh. I know, Dicey. I know. I won't give up. I promise. Get him, Dicey. Let's go. Oh, hell. Oh, 
me that. Oh, this is fast. Really fucking crap. Stay there. Weren't you there? That one hit. <laughs> I got him. Forgot that he moves. It's really easy to forget that. Because all of them stops. Seriously. What is he? Where's I see? I think this was a lot easier than the brothers. Suddenly, even realized what an awful person she was. She decided to lie down and die right away. Oh, don't. I don't know, Dicey. Just a random bad mood, I guess. Yes. Greetings. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the leader of the Cult of Three Heads. I have devoted my life towards the one truth that lives in three they bodies. They were two. Those of the Eternal Heads of Three. I've never heard of them. Yes, with the... You have. The They're mostly forgotten by those who toil in this factory. In times long past, the heads would be worshipped. But now, now I am their last follower. The last to recognize the three heads 
captive body none. I did. Are they somehow related to the visionary? He's a filthy head being. <laughs> the visionary is blind. He sees the world as it is. Whereas the three dark heads see the world as it can be. Must be. A world that would drive any other head insane to glimpse even a portion of it. You have not met the divine yet, Wanderer. And know this, if you do, you will not be ready. The visionary is nowhere near the Three Heads. The Three Heads have their origins in shadow, and their interests lie beyond the ability for those such as us to understand. But they are returning. Every day their power grows stronger, and when they return, truth will follow in their wake. Why does it sound like Cult of Cthulhu? The cult isn't one of the nice ones, is it? Some religions comfort, others advise. But the true religion tells the truth. And on that day of their return, the three heads will tell it. The stars have already gone out, little one. News of their end simply hasn't reached us yet. But it will. And until then, in the light of stars long dead, we wait. It's, it really sounds like Cthulhu. No. And I think that's gonna be it for today. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!